just rescuing Andy with his flat tyre. Apparently it's not going to spur or a compressor. This is the feel, of the summer barley on it. And obviously now we've cut it, the poachers have been going on in four wheel drives, driving all over it, especially up there where the railway is, after rabbits and hares. So I think we're gonna have to block this gateway off. We need to move these bollards back in to stop them getting in or maybe put some sort of stinger device in there. The yard's a bit quieter today than it was yesterday. So we're gonna have a closer look at this Massey 1200. So it wasn't steering yesterday. But lots of people said that if we put the multi-power I think it's the multi-power into high or low it might make a difference so andrew did think he messed with it yesterday so we can start it up now put it into the other gear and see if we can steer it take it around to the workshop and have a closer look at it yes yeah, so if you look it is in high so we'll start it up it is a really good start to this if you look now i mean i don't even think i'm gonna need to give it heat but there we go so we'll put that in low and then we'll try it now and see Got steering again. So uh, it's definitely better. Yeah. I don't think you can see properly, but I'll tell you what, let's let's take it and weigh it. I don't know what it weighs. Gear sticks are down there. So many people with like good information that watch the videos. It doesn't really like turning left though, but it is better than it was yesterday. Maybe it is low on oil, but we'll put it on the way bridge, see how heavy it is. Yesterday it just didn't want to turn at all. Weighbridge now weighs five and a half ton, 5.52 with me sat in it. It's not particularly heavy. Bit of the area in that handle. <laughs> right, we'll take it to the workshop. Right, I've given up taking it to the workshop because the steering is definitely not right. And then we've got some sort of oil leak now underneath it. Now apparently it's driven off some V-belts. Now I've seen them somewhere, I'm sure these panels on now so let's take these panels here. See it? It's hard with one hand. Yeah so there's some V-belts in there that look to be driving things. But to be honest they all look to be on. So could do be working out where that oil's come from. Maybe a pipe's burst underneath going to the steering ramp. We get some cardboard to lie on because the floor's quite wet. Anyway, before I do that, I'll just show you. So these steps are obviously rusted away, but it's only flat steel. So I don't know, two or three mil folded. Pretty easy to make. The bottom step is in the cab there. The door fell off when Tom loaded it on the wagon because it swung round here, hit the tire. The tire flicked it up off its hinges and it landed on that corner there. That's that dent but it didn't smash the glass. Now the glass has nearly fell out, mainly because of that, and also because I pushed on it yesterday to open the door. So that one's clipping back in before it falls out and smashes because it's quite a funny shape. That window has obviously been broken at some point and be replaced by Perspex. The windscreen looks to be original. And this side window seems to be okay as well. This side isn't really as badly rusted. Got a little bit going on here, but again, that's just flat plate. Top of the roof is totally, totally knackered. Front, back, sides and everything. So that's probably the biggest bit of work in, in fixing that. Everything else is relatively sound and all here. It's obviously had some sort of front linkage or a blade on the front. So if anyone's seen any pictures of one with a blade on, let me know. But some it's been definitely welded on there and, and onto here. Side panels are pretty rusty along the top, but I think they can be repaired find out what they clip onto in here as well some sort of like must have probably had a tab going in that rubber block the engine looks to be clean doesn't seem to have much of an oil leak um, starts on the button which is nice air filter don't think it's the standard one and the exhaust to be fair is not the standard exhaust 
someone's made it. They've done a relatively good job of it, to be fair, coming out and rounding up. And that's probably why it sounds so nice. Wheels badly, badly, badly rusted. But you shot blast and paint them, preserve them forever. And you might see sort of like a, a mottled effect within the paint, but that will at least tell the story of the history of the tractor. But if it's not painted, it'll just be lost to the elements. So I'll go and find some cardboard and we'll have a look at what's going on underneath. But yeah, you can see the back of the cab there, that's totally rusted across the top there. But I've found something to lie on, so we'll go underneath and see what's going on. We've got this oil here and we've got a brake isn't it that must be when I press the brake what do you say the brake leaves there's some sort of clutch in there I don't know where it's out to be honest there's a gearbox there there's a, st there's a steering ram up there yeah they must be brakes surely for the front wheels so maybe when I stop the press the brake that's where that oil came from up there. So then, back here is some prop shafts, steering ram. I'm not sure really what's going on. I'll have to get something started up, press the pedal, and see what happens. Maybe that's a job for tomorrow. Just looking at that there, how badly corroded that steel is. You know, it won't be long before there's nothing of that left. But, you know, the main bits aren't too bad. Everything's fairly simple to fix. It's, it's flat steel, it can be cut out, welded in, repainted. I think there's some light brackets missing off the back. You see that lap trailer there, there can I? Let's put something on that. Get some wood chip and sweep that up. Yeah, I think there's some light brackets missing off here, but all this seems to be the top link's obviously not missing. I'm not even sure if the linkage works, I've not tried it. It's got a drawbar on it, which is good. Stickers are probably the best bit of it, I mean this one's nearly perfect. <laughs> but the, the reason for buying it is because, one, it was right money, and two, that I think it's just going to be so, it's going to be so much achievement in doing it up from it looking so bad to look to hopefully looking really good. I just need someone to do it because I don't physically have the time myself. So if anyone knows of any old people that might be retired or anyone that's took early retirement that likes tinkering with tracks in a warm workshop and fancies a challenge, tell them to get in touch. And I also as well, I don't know whether we should do the MB track before we start even start on this, but it's definitely worth having a look to see how big a job it is, especially with the mechanics and the steering not working. Could do with getting that right, so at least we can move it around the yard easier. Just look at the tyres, it's amazing they're still up. And the badly perished. Good years all round, I think. Let's have a quick, a look, quick more of a look inside the cab. Let's jump up. So the floor's a little bit rusty, but but still sort of there. The seat seems to have its original cushion. Seems okay, little handle there. Seems with a seat belt. Window opens there, but that again is badly corroded. So it probably needs a new window frame. So obviously the top of the gear stick missing, which is slightly annoying because I don't know where the gears go. Obviously we've got, that must be the rear linkage controls there. I presume that's the hand throttle, I presume they're hydraulics. Apparently it's in on 5,400 hours. Not sure what electrics work. I, oh, there's the wiper there. I couldn't find that yesterday. I thought these were just heater controls, but yeah, there's the wiper board. Don't even know if the heater works either. But top of the cab, not too bad. Still got the carpet -y kind of soundproofing on it. So that's quite badly rusted there, but that's again, it's flat steel. Shouldn't be too bad to do. That side's obviously a lot better. Dashboard needs a paint. Paint's come off it. Steering wheel, a bit cracked, but functional. Badge still in the middle as well. That's something that often goes missing on tractors. That's obviously the window handle for that side. And this side isn't doing anything because it's been 
replaced by Perspex. A little bit of a CB in it, by the looks of things. Closed peg there, interior light. Yeah, it's definitely a big project. You know, it's a good month or so's work for a couple of people, I would say. But it's a massive 1200. There isn't many of them around, there isn't many of them left. There wasn't many of them built. And it's certainly, whatever you do to it is gonna increase some sort of value in it because it is so neglected. So we'll hopefully stop it getting worse. And then when we have the time or the labor or whatever, we'll get it looking a lot better. It's not really farm related. We got one of these at Christmas, then got it off Amazon for Olivia. Anyway, it's ingenious. It's like, that must be magnetic. So you put milk in it and hot chocolate, then you turn it on and then it like spins and mixes like the perfect hot chocolate somehow. Yet you can't see it spinning. Anyway, I'm just clean it out with water so you can see. Oh, it must spin that on the bottom. Does that spin? Yeah, that spins. So that, that little black thing there spins. And it mixes it so you don't get any lumps in your hot chocolate light. That, perfect. So if anyone wants one, you should go on Amazon. I'll put a link because they are that good. Look at Olivia, rocking the merch. And we've got the little bugs. There go. Little mini Merlots. FCN squeezy cows and the hats. Hats will be available soon when I've worked out how to build a website. Are we going on an adventure chester down the yard? Yeah? Oh yeah. Where are we going? Hey, where are we going? This arrived in the post yesterday and it is. Let me lift it out of the box. It's come from um, GM Farm Models. So I'll lift it out now. It is my very own 960 on tracks, complete with dirt, so it looks more realistic. So, this is a present of Jamie for letting him come up and drive his old tractor in the tractor run. Which, to be fair, I think we're nearly 60, over 64,000, maybe 65,000 raised. So, thanks, Jamie. It's a beast, and thank you to G and. Um, farm models for such a quality piece of engineering. It's even got a weight block as well. I just need to put it on it. The light is totally faded on me again, so I've not managed to do the birthday bumper because I need to turn the bateman around because it's the wrong way in the shed. So that will be the outro. Anyway, thanks to everyone that's watching. Thanks to everyone that come this open day yesterday. Thanks to all the brilliant comments that we've had. And don't forget, we will be doing more in the summer. And if you're interested, let us know below. So I'll see you all tomorrow and it's Monday.